Welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in 707, we're going to talk about Zira Arian. Now, the original printing of this was back in Legends. This is, of course, the Chronicles copy. For a black, red, and a green, we get a 1-2 flying legendary insect. That They didn't have that back then. It was uh, just summon legend, but it has been since the Oracle text. Zira is an insect. Now, for black, red, and green, tap, target player draws a card, so... Um, we're not winning no commander damage races with Zira, so it's one of those that just kind of chilled for a while, and I, I, I wasn't exactly certain as to how to build it. It was in the, in the box here, just, you know, 99 sleeves and in, in the commander, and I had thought that I had done it, you know, I, I mentioned a couple videos ago, but, um... Yeah, it's tribal insects. We all know what it is. I, I, I mean, now that draw card ability, uh, not exactly the uh, Jund ability that we all are, are thinking of, but that's why I put in, you know, the Mage Right Stone. Cause maybe we've got enough mana to do it twice a turn. Yeah, that's seven mana, I know, but yeah. Let's start with our mana fixing. We have... a uh, bunch actually uh soul ring far seek i'm gonna roll through these pretty quick arcane signet it's three colors that's uh, you know i, I kind of saved my arcane signets because i don't have a whole lot of them for three color and up uh two colors just i mean there's so many other options and you know maybe once they print arcane signet a hundred more times maybe it will get plentiful the golgari signet racto signet Felwar Stone, Talisman of Indulgence, Talisman of Impulse, Commander Sphere, Obelisk of... Now, yeah, the Obelisk of John might not have made it in the deck if it wasn't shiny, but that's that's me, you know. Uh, but, but then we have Rampant Growth, Cultivate, and Search for Tomorrow. Obviously, green is, is going to be our crutch color. That's our main color, and the other two are more or less support colors. Um... Card draw, read the bones, harmonize, and what is it? Say it with me. Double meat, double cheese. Now, now we get into our insects. Some of these we play because they're good cards. Otherwise, we just they just happen to be insects, you know. Scoot mob. Scoot squirm is also an insect. If you've got it, run it. If you're building it, I wish I had another copy. This is where it would go. But, alas, I do not. Um... <laughs> old school stuff uh swamp mosquito i love it attacks and isn't blocked because it, it's, it's a zero one it can't have like poisonous or whatever because it does zero damage but if it attacks and isn't blocked they get a poison counter so it is an insect yay so it's bayou dragonfly flying and swamp walk that's uh that's pretty evasive um Plague Stinger, it's just because it flies, it has in fact, it's an insect, I, I, I mean that's pretty, it's pretty good right there. Uh, that Agitator Ant, I, I don't think I've played with yet, but I, I, I like, I like it because you don't exactly know how it's going to play out. At the beginning of your end step, each player may put two 1-1 one, one counters on a creature they control. Goad each creature that had counters on it, put this way. So, you can do yours, it'll be go to two, but, uh, I mean, yeah, Agitator Ant. Nowhere near as cool as Shocker from way back in Tempest. Uh, yeah. It just, if it hits you, you windfall. Now, uh, the, the, the Mondo combo with Shocker is, of course, like Hermetic Study or something, and, uh, uh, Viridian Lombo is something where you can tap it to deal the damage, because, it shocker does not say combat damage it just says damage we don't have that level of shenaniganery here because we're just gonna you know insects run them out there uh caustic wasps another good one combat damage equals blow up an artifact that's pretty pretty neat uh, endless cockroach is gonna, is gonna come back to the dead hornet nest putting out a bunch of bees Saber Ants. Barb Shocker was kind of the Time Spiral remake. 
Um, deals damage to a player, discards all the cards, you know. It uh, it has haste, though. Trample. A foundry Hornet. If you control a creature with a one counter. So there's a slight, you know, synergy there. Not much. Um, Masaryk. Just, I don't have a whole lot of sacrifice abilities, but it's Masaryk, you know. Whenever a player sacrifices another permanent, the amount of stuff that we just, that we normally just sacrifice, um, uh, fetch lands, which whether they're, you know, Terramorphics or Arid Mesas are all in between, uh, we sacrifice secure tribe elders and Yavamaya. I mean, just all kinds of stuff we sacrifice and kind of almost don't realize we do it. So magic's good. Carrying ants. I know this is over costed. Ooh. Uh, but a colorless for plus one, plus one, that's not bad. Crash of Rhino Beetles, kind of a play off of the uh, Crash of Rhinos from way back. But um, ten or more lands, is that's very attainable, you know. Vorapede, Dragon Lair Spider, while not an insect, it does make insects. That Phyrexian Swarm Lord, though, whew. That is, it's an insect that makes in, it, it's an insect with infect that makes other insects with infect. <laughs> and it counts all your opponents. I don't understand why this card isn't played more. It, it might be, and I, I just don't realize it, but at the beginning of your upkeep, you get an infect insect token. There's got to be a way to shorten that to one word. Infect sec. Insect effect, a poison sect. Anyway, onto the battlefield for each poison counter your opponents multiple have. Um, gotta have our hornet queen, right? You know, and stag beetle uh, <laughs> with X one one counters on it, where X is a number of other creatures that are in play, not yours. Total creatures on the board. Yep. Molgraph Monstrosity, you know, just getting some creatures back. Living Hive, I've always loved. It is a bit pricey at 8 mana, but deals combat damage to a player. Put that many, so you get a bunch. Not an insect, I know. <laughs> Charnel Horde Worm is a personal favorite of mine. It is Jund. It does not find its home in enough of my Jund decks. Uh, but I figured that the... Dealing damage equal regrowth. I could probably use yeah six six body. It may come out for something. Um, I do have a, a couple of on flavor things, you know, bee sting and hornet sting, because why not? And I feel like gradually as we get more bee things, that's probably what I, I'll lean to. You know, I do have some randomness. Uh, price of betrayal. That's a Huge bargaining chip right there. Huge. Especially in a deck with so much infect. Uh, Diabolic Tutor. But now, if you get one of your big creatures, you can just sit them on the throne and make all of your creatures very big. Uh, you know, even the Charnel Horn, if that's what you've got, or whatever. Um, the variable power creatures, you know, it'd take a bunch of mana to do carrying ants, but that would be, you would be effectively plus one, plus one in your entire team. If you put the carrying ants on the throne. Now, granted, you got to pump it before you activate the throne, obviously, but uh, yeah. And then, I mean, we're already one foot out the door, right? With, in fact, we might as well throw the tribe of the hordes in there. Cause why not? They're insects, you know? You almost expect it to be poison. But the beautiful part about Jund is it's got some of the best removal there is. I mean it. You know, Abrupt Decay, Hull Breach, Decimate, Putrefy, Terminate, Fire Covenant. That's, that's just a monster of a card. We didn't realize it way back then um return to nature and naturalize doom blade murder and diabolic edict had to have the diabolic edict for the sacrifice thing death sprout 
I've got that with removal and not with ramp because you got to have the creature, you know, to target. Uh, Lava Lanch. X damage to target player or walker and all their dudes. That's a personal, um, yeah. Lava Lanch equals slap in the face to one player. It really does. I mean, not like Violet Ultimatum does. That's just, you know, pop three permanents. That's still kind of cool, though. But Savage Twister, I uh, almost didn't put Savage Twister in. I felt like I wanted some type of board wipe-ish type thing. Now, granted, all my insects are small, so this is going to wipe probably most of them out. That's kind of why I'm, you know, with that much removal, I'm not sure that it's needed. But there again, like I said, more insects, I'm certain, will come out. And then that brings us to our non-basic lands. These are no particular order. There's quite a few of them because we are three colors. So, Carpalusin Forest, Gruel Guildgate, Timber Gorge, Shivan Oasis, Gruel Turf, Evolving Wilds, Gateway Plaza, Savage Lands, Command Tower. Terramorphic Expanse, Rupture Spire, Rectos Carnum, Carn Carn Carnarum. Yeah, I can never pronounce that. Jund Panorama, Rectos Guildgate, The Occam Refuge, Golgari Guildgate, Lanawar Waste, and the Witherbloom Campus. Like I said, that is a bunch. This deck would be a very, very susceptible to a Blood Moon, wouldn't it? <laughs> very. So, that is Zira. Uh, that one's been in the making for a while. Wasn't exactly certain to what to do with it, like I said, but it's... Uh, found it's... Because you know, it, if there's a... Uh, Away you go tribal, I'm probably going to build that tribal, right? So uh, I need to get those, that stack of boxes out of the way. That is, y'all have actually seen all, to me go through all these boxes. That is what, where I had been stacking the um, treasure hunt series, which I'm about ready. I'm back off vacation and stuff. So I'm, I'm about ready to uh, probably film some more of those. I've still got a bunch of boxes to go through. I've gotten a couple more collections since then. Since the big collect, yeah, it, it's it's crazy. So um, to be sure, I'm listing stuff every day more and more on TCG Player. If you are are looking for anything specific, um, you know, pretty much duplicate stuff that I ha already have used or haven't, don't need, whatever. But yeah, check out there. A lot of good commander stuff. Um, but that is all we have got for today. I do appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think, but uh, right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.